Okay, so welcome ladies and gentlemen. Today in Business Connect, I visited uh, Bree, overseas education company. And with me, I have a guest and he will introduce himself. So I just want to know what they are doing, what the company is about, and how are they helping international students. So, sir, can you introduce yourself and tell me what your company is, is doing? Okay, hello everyone. My name is Justin, Justin Lee. I'm currently working in, as you can see, BRE Overseas Education. Uh, basically, BRE Overseas Education is a study in China agency that helps international students to apply for scholarships to study in China. You can see in the background that we have many uh, partnership universities across China and uh, every year we send thousands of students to study in China with scholarships. Oh, wow, yeah. with scholarships. Okay, so it means that if a student wants to study in China, even if they are not able to, to pay the fees, they can get uh, scholarship opportunities. Yes, of course. Okay. But it will be depending on student's uh, situation, like their GPA and uh, language proficiency, etc. Okay, so what are the chances if a student applies to your company, what are the chances to get this uh, admission? Uh, I would say that uh, uh, around 70 to 80 percent of students will get different level of student, uh, scholarships to, to study in China. But also there are some uh, students with lower qualifications that uh, won't be able to get scholarship. Okay, so can you just give me an example of uh, some of the, of the different scholarships that the students can get? Mm. You know, here in China market, there are many um, different kind of uh, scholarships from government type to university type. So basically, uh, most uh, um, government type scholarships uh, are full scholarships, which can cover students' tuition, accommodation, insurance, and the students will get monthly allowance also. But for uh, university scholarships, most, uh, most of them are partial scholarships, for example, students will get a, a waiver uh, from, from tuition, uh, something like that. Okay, Okay. so just tell me now, uh, someone is listening to you for the very first time, they don't know about your company, they don't know how to, to, to contact the company, so if a student wants to study in China, what are the things that the student needs to do if the student wants to apply through your company? What's the first thing that the student needs to do? Okay, uh, but BRU we have um, many channels uh, like uh, overseas. I think you can maybe Google us, uh, okay. uh, yeah, to find us. I know you can also find uh, BRU overseas education on Facebook. We have a Facebook page as okay, well. Okay, you have a Facebook page. So maybe when I'm doing the video, I'll just put the link or I'll just include the the Facebook name so that they can search and find you. Oh, your that would be great. Oh, okay. Okay, so now uh, I have one, one question. Now students have been applying to come to China maybe for over a year now before the pandemic. So the students who are curious, they're asking themselves, but when can we go back to China? What do you have to tell these students? Um, I, 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 I can say that for now, there is no uh, exact date. Uh, about when students can return to China for study because for some students who have returned maybe uh, last year they, they still haven't got the chance to enter yet due to border control but we are seeing some positive changes and the policies released by um, China government like uh, gradually for example I think just uh, uh, this month uh, on March uh, China have uh, released a uh, we call it or like a what like a travel green code okay. for, for citizens abroad and uh, it this policy like indicates for those um, visa China visa holders um, under like a, like work visa if they they have already been injected with China produced the vaccine and they okay. have this like a, like a global traveling green code okay. issued by China government they can uh, enter China already for those uh, like uh, foreign employees. Oh, okay, yeah. good, good. Yeah, and businessmen and stuff. But uh, for now, for international Chinese, international students uh, with study visa, still cannot enter right now. But we are keeping a uh, close like a uh, uh, discussion, and we are keeping a close eye on on the, on the latest policy because we have many uh, um, teacher uh, like from universities 
they they are very positive about okay. the students' return for this September intake as well. Okay. Uh, yeah. Because uh, for except for actually for except the international students, all kinds of visa holders can enter China already. Oh, so yeah. I think there is some positive. <laughs> yeah, I think maybe international students is the last batch. All right. And okay. It, it will be soon. Okay. All right. So uh, another question. So when you help these students to come to China, when they are already in China, what are some of the things that you do to the student? What are some of the activities that you can organize for the student? Because, or maybe once they just come to China, then you can just say, okay, you are in China now, you can do what you want.、Mm -hmm. So what other activities do you organize for students、mm -hmm. when they are already in China? Do you have、mm -hmm. something like that? Yes. Of course, actually,、uh, BRE we value our reputation among international students very much. So we think,、um, like,、uh, bring students to start、uh, to come to physically come to their campus is not the ending part of our service. But instead, we have some follow up、uh, services for international students as well after they got registered in their campus. For example, if they have any question about their、uh, life in China, if they have some、uh, queries about the regulations. About、uh, you know all kinds of difficulties,、uh, no matter it is、uh, study related or life related, they all can come to us, and BI consultant will be happy to resolve their queries and difficulties anytime. Oh, that's very good. And also, we have、uh, many different kinds of、uh, offline and online activities for international students as well. For example, for on for offline, we have like a cafe gallery. Specifically for students in Shanghai. Oh wow!、Yeah, because we are based in Shanghai. Okay. Yes, and also we have some.、Uh, we have held uh, uh, like a sports sports game for、oh. international students as well.、Okay. And for online, for those students,、uh, they are not who are not in China,、uh, not in Shanghai. They can also attend maybe some online activities held by BIE. For example, last year we have this talent show competition, like、uh, students. From all all over China, participated from different cities. Oh wow, that's、mm. good. Okay, when I look behind me, I can see like the logo of several universities.、Mm. So does it mean that you have、uh, like a partnership with all these universities that I can see right behind me here? Yes, of course. Okay, wow, that means that the students have a lot of options to to choose from. Yeah, because、uh, basically you can see these uh these uh, universities they. They they are located in different directions, different cities in China. <laughs> yeah, in China、okay. and uh, different uh, tier、mm. cities, and、uh, for so that with this number of universities, I'm I can basically assure you that、uh, no matter what、uh, what major you want to study in China, we can find you a good program. Okay. Okay. So before we end the interview, can you just give me a few reasons why students can choose China to study? Do you have some reasons why, if you try to convince a student, why should a student choose to study in China?、Mm. Okay.、Um, for my point,、uh, I think the first one is, for example,、uh, of course, the the education quality itself.、Um, okay. Actually, in、uh, in the global QS ranking, uh, uh, China University have performed well, very well, and it, it is actually increasing. Uh, like uh, on a yearly basis, yearly basis. for example, the 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 Peking University and Tsinghua University, they have already ranked around twenty,、uh, like a worldwide. First twenty top universities in the world. Yeah, so this is a very good rank. Okay. Yeah, and also there are many、um, universities. I think over ten are ranking top one hundred. Top one hundred universities in the world. Yeah. So、okay. that is the first、uh, first reason. Education quality. Okay, and the second, I think, is the the opportunity for a brighter future because、uh, China is the、uh, the second largest、uh, economy in the world, and、uh, China is、uh, doing business with、uh, all over the world. So, so students are exposed to all these business opportunities、yes. and all these、uh, development opportunities. Yeah. So I think、uh, China is、uh, still. Like、uh, this economy is still rising very、uh, quickly, okay, and、uh, and we can see in the future, China will still be a good destination for international talents to 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 work. Okay, so that is the, the second, second reason. reason. Okay.、Mm. Uh, so for for the third reason is、uh, China University. They have very good policy for international students. Like、uh, we have discussed scholarship,、okay. I think uh, uh, the scholarship coverage is very、uh, generous. 
uh, okay. given by uh, no matter it's uh, government or university. So uh, for those students who, who, who may uh, may find it uh, uh, expensive, not affordable to study in Western countries, I think China is relatively uh, cost is lower. Lower. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So as and also, what about the culture, the, the the experience? Also, I think that it's really a nice place to live in. Even when we look about the, the social environment, it's a very nice place. The beautiful city, the nice towns. Yes. So I think uh, um, Chinese culture is another important it's very reason. It's very attractive, I yeah. think, for for yeah. foreigners. Like uh, like we have some uh, culture. Images, for example, like a, like a kung fu mm -hmm. and like a panda. Exactly. You guys like panda, right? Yeah. Okay. You want to see panda in China? You come to study in China. Oh wow! <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, Justin. So at this point, I think we have come to the end of this video. So if you have any questions about study in China, or if you have any information you want to find out about your study in China, I'm going to leave the contact information on this video, and you can send them an email. You can add them on WeChat, on Facebook, on WhatsApp. And they will be very free to answer your question. So, is there any last word you want to offer to the viewers before we end the video? Anything? Uh, I I would just want to say to all your audiences that uh, um, I think uh, you won't regret uh, to choose China as your study abroad destination. China won't let you down. Welcome. Okay. Thank you very much, and I will see you. Bye bye. Bye bye.